Martinus Justinus Godefridus Tini Veltman Dutch pronunciation Mr Tins Tins XOD Frids Tini Veltemen born the 27th of June 1931 is a Dutch theoretical physicist He shared the 1999 Nobel Prize in Physics with his former student Gerardus T Hooft for their work on particle theory Topic <inaudible> Biography <inaudible> <inaudible> Martinus Justinus Gottfriedus Veltman was born in Walwijk, Netherlands on 27 June 1931. His father was the head of the local primary school. Three of his father's siblings were primary school teachers. His mother's father was a contractor and also ran a café. He was the fourth child in a family with six children. He started studying mathematics and physics at Utrecht University in 1948. As a youth, he had a great interest in radio electronics, which was a difficult hobby to work on because the occupying German army had confiscated most of the available radio equipment. In 1955, he became an assistant to Professor Michels of the Van der Waals Laboratory in Amsterdam. Michels was an experimental physicist, working in high pressure physics. His primary task was the upkeep of a large library collection and occasional lecture preparations for Michels. His research career advanced when he moved to Utrecht to work under Leon van Hove in 1955. He received his MSc degree in 1956, after which he was drafted into military service for two years, returning in February 1959. Van Hove then hired him as a doctoral researcher, even though he was now 27 years old. He obtained his Ph.D. degree in theoretical physics in 1963 and became professor at Utrecht University in 1966. In 1960, Van Hove became director of the theory division at CERN in Geneva, Switzerland, the European High Energy Laboratory. Veltman followed him there in 1961. Meanwhile, in 1960, he married his wife Annika, who gave birth to their daughter Eline in the Netherlands, before moving to Geneva to live with Martinus. Eline followed in her father's footsteps and in due time completed her particle physics thesis with Mary Guyard at Berkeley, though she now works in the financial industry in London. In 1963 64, during an extended stay at Slack, he designed the computer program Schoonchip for symbolic manipulation of mathematical equations, which is now considered the very first computer algebra system. Veltman was closely involved in the 1963 CERN neutrino experiment, analyzing images as they were generated by the detectors. When no spectacular events came out, enthusiasm waned, and after a while Veltman and Bernardini were the only ones analyzing the images. As a result, Veltman became the spokesman for the group at the Brookhaven Conference in 1963. In 1971, Gerardus T. Hooft, who was completing his PhD under the supervision of Veltman, renormalized Young Mills theory. They showed that if the symmetries of Young Mills theory were to be realized in the spontaneously broken mode, referred to as the Higgs mechanism, then Young Mills theory can be renormalized. Renormalization of Young Mills theory is a major achievement of 20th century physics. In 1980, Veltman became member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. In 1981, Veltman left Utrecht University for the University of Michigan Ann Arbor, from where he retired in 1996. Eventually, he shared the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1999 with T. Hooft, for elucidating the quantum structure of electroweak interactions in physics. Veltman and T. Hooft joined in the celebrations at Utrecht University when the prize was awarded. Veltman holds a position of emeritus professor at the University of Michigan. Asteroid 9492 Veltman is named in his honor. In 2003, Veltman published a book about particle physics for a broad audience, entitled Facts and Mysteries in Elementary Particle Physics. Topic bibliography Veltman, M. Perturbation Theory of Massive Young Mills Fields, Utrecht Rijksuniversiteit, Netherlands. Institut voor Theoretische Physica. Paris Univ, Orsay, France. Laboratoire de Physique Théorique et Hautes Energies, August 1968. Veltman, M. and J. Yellen. Some Comments on the Decays of Ada, 550, Brookhaven National Laboratory, United States Department of Energy through predecessor agency the Atomic Energy Commission, July 1966. Veltman, M. Facts and Mysteries in Elementary Particle Physics, World Scientific Publishing, 2003. ISBN 981-238-149-X. 
Topic references Topic External links University of Michigan page Freeview video An interview with Martinus Veltman by the Vega Science Trust Freeview video Why do we need a linear collider Martinus J.G. Veltman on Inspire HEP